the channel a healing here and in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you quick tips on how to make money more money with your audiobooks so let's make our way to the ACX website right now and as we can see we have a breakdown of how ACX prices your audiobooks so as you can see one to three hours equals a seven dollar to ten dollar sale and as you progress as the hours increase the the sale the, the book price increases as well so I typically my the sweet spot I recommend to aim for is at the minimum at the bare minimum you should be aiming for three to three to five hours so you want to make a at the minimum a ten dollar or twenty dollar royalty uh sorry not royalty a uh, ten dollar or twenty dollar sale right at the minimum and then I also have books I also personally have audiobooks that make anywhere between 15 to 25 and some between 20 and 30. I don't have any audiobooks that make 25 to 35 dollars in sale but if you can make a, an audiobook that is over 20 hours that would be great but again you want to at the minimum aim for 10 to 20 dollars and be, so be, be between three to five hours and five to ten hours that's the sweet spot i would say so i'm going to share a special bonus tip early on in this video and this is a tip that a lot of publishers withhold uh from from you and that's bundles i've talked about this in other videos about why you got to focus why you should produce bundles and bundles for audiobooks work in the same manner right so with bundles you ink bundles you increase the audio the narration time the length of, uh, the longer the bundle the better so if you put three books uh, have a three book bundle a four book bundle you can easily hit five to ten hours easily and i would venture on to say 10 to 20 hours as well so create bundles to get higher royalties i personally have a lot of bundles on acx but the thing with bundles is it's not like kindle there are rules and regulations about bundles you can't use you can't use the same book in a different bundle twice right so it's going to be a separate book for each bundle so let's say you have one let's say you have one book that you bundled in a three pack bundle and you want to put that same book in the, a four pack bundle with different books you can't because that book was used so you got to keep that into consideration so my next point i want to bring is a, a point i mentioned in another video and that's royalty share if you're doing a royalty share please rethink that you you want to do an upfront payment royalty share is is going to make you lose a lot of money is going to make you lose a lot of money I've personally lost uh, a lot of money doing royalty shares. So if you don't have the money, I would suggest you save up and just aim for upfront payments because royalty share is a contractual agreement where your narrator will be making money uh, money off your audiobooks for seven years. So you're going to be making... Because of, cause the upfront payment is 40% of the sale. So when you do a royalty share, it's going to be 20% of the sale, right? So it's a significant, uh, significant difference. So... Again, ACX is on tap market and there is massive opportunity to make money for us self-publishers. So I'm going to go onto the ACX website right now and uh, prove that to you. So right now you can see there's only a hundred, uh, sorry, there's only a thousand, one thousand, one hundred and eighty nine titles open for edition, 77,000 producers and one hundred and thirty five thousand nine hundred sixty seven audiobooks on sale. That's 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 crazy. So think about that. Kindle paperbacks and ebooks have millions upon millions of books and thousands upon thousands of books produced published every single day. And ACX only has less than 200,000. So they only have 135,000 audiobooks on sale. So as you can see it's an untapped market. It's not saturated. It's far from sat saturation point. Um and yeah, so you really, really, really want to utilize all three platforms, especially the audiobooks, since there's a much higher barrier of entry and less competition. So if this doesn't encourage you to start producing audiobooks, I don't know what will. Again, it's un it's an unsaturated market and there's just so much opportunity for growth. So that's going to be all for this video. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you have, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.